And the heartbreak continues for the Ravens just hours before linebacker Jalen Ferguson pronounced dead at just 26 years old. We're still trying to piece together how this happened as reaction to his death pours in. And WJZ has team coverage tonight. Sports director Mark Viviano, he has been on top of this story from the very start, gathering reaction from his teammates all across the country. But we begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren and what we're hearing from police. Mike. Kelsey, Rick, fans and the team are in mourning. Police tell us they have not ruled out the possibility of an overdose. The body is at the medical examiner's office not far from here, and they still have to do an autopsy to determine the official cause of death. We actually just saw the ambulance go by. They didn't have the siren on. People living in the 400 block of Ilchester in North Baltimore, where Ravens linebacker Jalen Ferguson was found dead just before 11.30 last night, are stunned. Not on my street. That's exactly what I said. Nothing really goes on around here. So for this to happen, it's just like, wow. I'm sad for his kids, his fiance, just like everybody. It's just sad. Police tell us there were no signs of foul play or trauma, but they're not ruling out the possibility the 26 year old died of an overdose. We want to make sure we speak on facts and evidence, and facts and evidence alone. WJZ obtained dispatch transmissions as medics worked for more than a half an hour to save Ferguson's life. 26 year old male in cardiac arrest. The downtime was 35 minutes. We're at the 32 minute mark of CPR. Hey, unless you have any other uh, thoughts, I think it's okay to terminate at this point. Copy, Doc. We're going to go ahead and terminate for substitution. Jalen Ferguson, Don Docker, Louisiana Cat. Ferguson joined the Ravens as the third round draft pick in 2019 with much fanfare. He'd practiced with the team just last week. The Ravens tweeted they were profoundly sad and remembered Ferguson as a kind, respectful young man with a big smile and infectious personality. Ferguson's fiance wrote on Instagram, Never in a million years did I think I'd be saying RIP to you. My soul aches so bad. She also posted, I got our babies. Thank you for giving me you. I'll forever have you with me through them. Ferguson recently spoke about his family on a Ravens podcast. I can't wait to the all season and I see my kids. I get to be around the family. And he had three young children. Our live team coverage continues. Mark Viviano is back with more on Ferguson's career and the reaction from his teammates. Mark.